Hi everybody, welcome to my workbench. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm uh, back on the homebrew uh, antenna I made, and uh, I make some uh, adjustments on uh, the untuned antenna, so uh, that uh, the resonance frequency is about 30 megahertz. I accomplished that, and on top of that. And I told you already in another video why you didn't have a 20 meter loop and tuned loop antenna. And as you can see, I uh, started that off. And it's nearly finished actually. Uh, on the far side, you can see uh, if I could walk to it, and I'll point it out to you. Uh, the, tu the, the tuning comp condenser. Uh, it's only uh, when I had it uh, laying around. Uh, it's not exactly high voltage uh, capacitor, it's, uh, I think he will uh, easily do uh, 1000 volts or something like that. Um, that won't be any problem, so if you uh, say uh, at QRP, uh, I think you won't, won't have any problems with that uh, tuning condenser anyway. Uh, failing that, uh, you always can uh, uh, put in the high voltage one in, so, but I don't see really uh, the necessity of it at this moment uh, to do that. So uh, anyway, I will point everything out to you, and uh, hopefully you can hear me because I have uh, I'm outside. So uh, well, I have here my uh, square as it were, the the meter square uh, for uh, the main uh, tuning. My tuning condenser here is here on the bottom uh, on the peak of farads and then here I have uh, my uh, loop that has to go inside I still have to do that anyway it's uh, not quite big actually I don't want it to have to be big but you have to uh, write it uh, uh, SWR so, uh, that's what I have to put in there. And uh, I have my drawer ready to go here. I was going to do that. And then I will connect it up and then come, and, uh, come back to you and uh, show you what I've done. And after that, of course, I will uh, uh, put it on that uh, Taurus uh, transceiver. And um, that's I have to tune up uh, the. Uh, the transmitter because it's not tuned up properly so uh, that will take some work and then I'll uh, make an, uh, a QSO with that uh, uh, towers uh, and that will see from there so I will shut down the camera now and uh, uh, I will continue with my work and I'll come back to you when it's that far alright hi guys welcome back uh, as you can see uh, I'm in the process of um, soldering uh, the ends of that little loop and that will be it as far as I can see and I will put them back in this place so I'll uh, solder that on, on camera so uh, stay to stand by yes Old fashioned soldering iron. So. Put some more in here. Just making sure that it's soldered properly. Oh yeah, this is coming. Insulation is coming away from it. It doesn't matter. It gets too hot. That's what it is.
about 100 watts, so uh, it will produce some heat. But yeah, not very successful at the moment. We'll do our best. Get it solved properly. It's rather a thick wire that is. There it goes again. Okay, got it. You see that can't be helped. It's coming away with the metal. Anyway, it is on, so we'll disconnect it for a moment. Put it out of the way. Now uh, I'm going to explain what I've done. Uh, just the copper tubing here. I have a wire soldered through it. It goes uh, to one end to one end of that little loop. And then we have our normal coax cable. We have two ends and we solder them there. And that's all there's to it. So that will uh, enable me to tune the loop. I will uh, put some hot glue. You can't see that. Hold on. I'll zoom out a bit. Turn a bit. There we go. Focus it again. See this this stuff is still moving here. I'll put some hot glue in there so that will uh, stop uh, stop it moving. I'll cut those ends off, and all of that will be it. So just let's see. I can put some hot glue in there as well. So we'll have to see. Okay. So. Um, have a look at them making a false connection, it wouldn't matter actually, as long as the other side is okay. Yeah. That's okay, hopefully. Anyway guys, I will uh, shut down the camera now and uh, clear everything up, cut it all off and put it inside and I will come back to you, okay? As you can see guys in here, that antenna is working like a Jemima. So uh, it's a very good antenna actually, it's a very strong signal. There you go, it's inside you guys. This is a building. This is a building that works like uh, a, a case of Faraday. So I have to put an antenna inside because of uh, uh, the space. And uh, yeah, you can see the thing works. So now uh, the next thing to do is uh, to get this thing uh, going also. Uh, uh, realign uh, the transmitter and that should be it for uh, this but this concludes for us and for our antenna so uh, I will see you next on uh, the conclusion of this thing of the towers so uh, I'll see you then bye bye